Oh, say can you see the news? It's right here. Happy Independence Day to our US viewers. I'm your host, Andrew, and this is Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny daily shot of caffeinated crypto news. As an American myself, I realized that there's nothing more patriotic than working on a holiday. Here are your headlines. First up, the Novi wallet is dead. Meta, Facebook's parent company, says the doomed product will close on September 1st. Current users in the US and Guatemala are being urged to move their funds to a different bank account. The tech giant had struggled to get Novi and Diem, its planned digital currencies, off the ground after suffering a fierce pushback from regulators. Though Novi has passed to the great beyond, Meta is still pushing ahead with ambitions to build a metaverse, ensuring that users on Instagram and Facebook can own and publicly display non fungible tokens. A digital wallet is also going to be integrated into a newly rebranded product called MetaPay. Crypto scammers have hacked the British Army's social media accounts. Its Twitter profile was bombarded with posts about NFTs, and the scammers were likely trying to deceive followers in an attempt to drain their wallets. Worryingly, its YouTube channel was also affected, and its name was changed to mimic a legitimate company called ARK Invest. Live streams featuring some guy named Elon Musk were also added, and collectively they were viewed by more than 20,000 people. Celsius Network is laying off 150 employees, a quarter of its workforce, as the embattled crypto lender tries to get back to firmer financial footing. The redundancies were reported by the Israeli business newspaper Calculist on Sunday, and it comes after speculation that the company had brought in restructuring lawyers. It's been three weeks since Celsius Network announced that it was pausing all withdrawals, swaps, and transfers because of extreme market conditions, and there's still no sign when affected users will be getting their funds back. Unfortunately, an update that was provided by the company last week didn't give much in the way of new information. And finally, a conference for crypto skeptics is going to take place in jolly old London. The Crypto Policy Symposium is happening on September 5th and 6th, and it's being organized by Stephen Deal, author of Popping the Crypto Bubble. According to the event's official website, the conference is designed to encourage critical discourse and analyze the crypto ecosystem. Discussions on policy recommendations will also take place with scrutiny applied to altcoins, initial coin offerings, non-fungible tokens, and DeFi. Other topics will include crypto's impact on the environment, celebrities who endorse digital assets, and the connections forged between football clubs and crypto projects. Sounds like a wild time. And you know what else is wild? Liking this video, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and clicking on that little bell icon to get buzz whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. And is that Alex swinging on a chandelier? Oh no, Alex is actually just in the description as always. Ask Alex in said below description to find out more about our headlines or crypto in general. Alex is also a party animal when it comes to learning about Web3 and that metaverse thing you've heard so much about. And that does it for today's news. I'm going to go have some watermelon, a cold brew, Ha and 20 hot dogs. Again, I've been your host, Andrew. These have been your headlines and America.